For the first time, SeaWorld is acknowledging the legislation sparked by the documentary Blackfish is having a major impact on its theme parks. Kim, SeaWorld released its second quarter earnings report today, and the less than stellar results set the company's stock into a major freefall. Shamu the killer whale is undoubtedly the biggest draw at SeaWorld. In an ironic twist, Shamu is also the reason the theme park's attendance is flat and revenue has gone down dramatically. Some are pointing to the Blackfish effect. The controversial documentary blasts SeaWorld for its treatment of orcas, and viewers have started a movement to pressure the park to release the killer whales. I think the public is finally waking up to what um, goes on at SeaWorld as far as the animal abuse and animal cruelty. Ellen Erickson has organized protests outside SeaWorld for years, urging visitors to stay away. She is pleased with news that the company's revenue is down, which sent stocks plunging 30% Wednesday. However, she doesn't want SeaWorld to shut down. We want them to make a business decision to take the orcas out of captivity. The company itself believes that there's been some impact from Blackfish. Eric Brevold analyzes theme park data. He says the blackfish effect isn't SeaWorld's only problem. Universal and Disney have both made in the recent years um, billion dollar plus investments uh, at their property to drive additional guests. This is what one of SeaWorld's parking lots looked like on this sunny summer day when we drove by. If the attendance continues to fall, if they continue to have negative publicity and negative brand implications from blackfish, lose corporate partners like they did with Southwest Airlines, you know, clearly it's gonna, something's going to have to give. Now, I read this earnings report, and it says that the company does not expect things to turn around this year. It's forecasting revenue to be down by as much as 16% for the entire year. SeaWorld wouldn't give me a comment, but the report does cite a few reasons for the drop in revenue, including bad weather and a change in school calendars in some cities.